So we've been talking about uh, Halloween movie monsters and creep shows and creepy British kids and everything for the last little while. But uh, we haven't really touched upon two of the classics. Let's do one of them right now. All right. Classics. Freddy Krueger. I like Freddy Krueger. Freddy Krueger. Big, big time. Probably one of the pinnacles of uh, movie horrordom. I think people are always kind of, oh, which do you prefer better, Freddy or Jason? Those are like kind of the two top movie monster slasher guys. Yeah. I put Pinhead just a little bit in third place, but my opinion. Yeah. But all, the Freddy Krueger movies, like the Nightmare on Elm Street ones, they they spun wildly out of control. Uh, yeah, like, a little bit, a little bit. And it's so weird to see how the Jason movies followed suit. Yeah. Like, you look at the first um, Friday the 13th and the first Nightmare on Elm Street, they're, you know, they're genuine horror movies. Yeah. Then, oh, these, these are popular, these got good, now let's spin out. Then, mm -hmm. like, the um, Nightmare on Elm Street ones dovetailed so hard into comedy territory. Yeah. Which, you know, isn't necessarily a bad thing because, you know, Freddy Krueger's wearing a Christmas sweater <laughs> for the entire time and, and a bitchin' fedora, like the second best fedora in cinema history. Yeah. Indiana Jones. But, uh, yeah, they having him be kind of a comedy slash horror, I think, almost worked better for the series. Because, uh, I mean, after a while, maybe. it's like, yeah, he's, all right, what else can we do with this? I prefer my horror straight up horror. Not but there, there, were, there, were other, there were other options for that. I like the comedy horror mix that it eventually went into. Like, the uh, New Nightmare was a cool one. New Nightmare is probably my favorite one. Yeah, that was really, because really cool. he just flipped that movie inside out, yeah. basically. I did like um, Dream Warrior. It was one of my favorites. Um, was that the one with the bathtub scene, I believe? Or no? Uh, I don't specifically remember that. All I remember is, like, the Roach Motel death from uh, Dream Warrior. Mm. That was one of my favorite ones. I can't remember. And I think Dream Warrior had the, was, like, the best version of the rhyme as well. Mm. And that, that's one of my favorite things as well, like, the whole Freddy Krueger rhyme. Like, I the do creepy, like the, the rhyme, creepy kids yeah. singing the rhyme. That's just awesome. Yeah. I know. And like the whole his the whole iconic silhouette of uh, Freddy with the glove and everything. That's that's a horrendous weapon. Yeah. It is a brutal weapon. I know. And I agree. like even before he became like the demon thing that he is, the Springwood Slasher. Yeah. It's a creepy character as well. I almost would have liked to see a movie just about that. Mm -hmm. Like when they announced the Nightmare on Elm Street prequel or remake or whatever with um, Jackie Earl Haley. I would have thought maybe, you know, have it set up to start a franchise type of thing and have the first movie be him as the Springwood Slasher. Yeah. And then the second ones and then... But it had be... more of it. It definitely had more of it, but it almost made him out to come off as, like, more of a sympathetic character for half the movie. Yeah. Like, genuinely, like, oh, maybe these parents goofed up. Maybe he wasn't the guy. But, like, no, no, he's pretty much a monster. Yeah. But uh, having him be a monster before he became a demon is, is something I would like to have seen them explore a little more yeah but uh cool character i don't know if we're gonna get any more freddy krueger movies for a little while i doubt it nightmare now the remake didn't exactly uh blaze up the box office it did not and uh robert england's probably not you know what he, 65 now or something probably uh, i think he's in his 50s oh, okay but still he it's just still... makeup it's yeah whatever but uh, I didn't mind the new makeup effect on Jackie O'Haley. Definitely more of a burn victim look to it than mm -hmm. Indian England's makeup was. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, how many? There's what, not eight? Uh, eight original ones with England? Seven. Seven. Because the last one was New Nightmare. Yeah. Then it was Freddy vs. Jason. Then Freddy vs. Jason, right. My favorites, number one, number seven, and Freddy vs. Jason. Freddy vs. Jason is a good one. I enjoy that. I just because just I found it fun to yeah. see them cross over. Yeah. In a good way. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, none of them are... Some of them are... Like, some of the Freddy movies are bad, but they're still fun to watch. Like, you get the cool... The cool creative death scenes. I mean, oh, like... Yeah. At one time, you use, like, a power glove. Then he, like, jams a, a um, Q-tip into a guy's brain. Those are always fun. Yeah. And uh, it's just... he's He is one of the classic... Classic movie monsters. And he's always good to... To go back and revisit every once in a while. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. I mean, there's box sets. You can get all the movies through Amazon on Blu-ray. And I think it's a good pickup. I want to try and pick one up and get the whole set. 
Freddy so Freddy Krueger, classic monster for a damn good reason. It's fun, it's gory, it's a good time. Go it check sure it out. is.